Anyway, so uh, like I mentioned, Ash O'Brien is with us. Let's get right to her. I want you to watch first, though, before we bring Ash O'Brien on. Her and her husband were assaulted by an elderly woman in San Diego. Let's watch the video. This is the actual video that uh, apparently there was a lady also in the park who saw what was happening when this old lady comes up with a can of uh, pepper spray and starts spraying it all over Ash and her husband for the crime of not wearing a mask in public. Watch this. <laughs> What are you doing? You cannot be serious. You just, you just maced him. You just maced him. You just maced him. You just maced him and their food because you disagree. Don't worry, I'm videotaping. Don't worry. I'm not going. That's not okay. This is not for. That is not okay. Not okay. Two people like that. What's wrong with you, lady? That is wrong. You can't go around doing It's okay, guys. This is her car. somebody. Don't worry, I got it. You weren't defending yourself, lady. And I've got this. Did she hurt her? I didn't do anything. She didn't do anything. And joining me right now is Ash O'Brien. Now, you, you didn't see Ash in that video that we just played, but you heard her in the background. She is the wife of the man that was that was hit with the, the pepper spray, and pretty badly, too. Ash, welcome to the Jazz McKay Show on Twitch. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm, 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 uh, I want to thank you for being with us. When I saw your post yesterday on Facebook, and I guess this happened on Thursday, right? Yeah. When I saw this post, I just, I was, I, my, my mouth just fell open. I could not believe that this woman would do this to you and your husband, especially with a little three-month-old pug, and we see the, the the puppy. You know, I'm a dog. I'm a dog nut. I'm a dog nut, Ash. And when I saw that poor puppy, and he almost got out. It looked like he almost slipped out through the gate when the old woman was was taken off. Right. Yeah, at the end of the video. Yeah, that that upset me though. The whole thing, I could not believe. Tell tell everybody if you would. The story how did this happen okay so we were at dusty roads uh dog park in ocean beach san diego and we had just picked up some phil's barbecue we wanted to have lunch just mm -hmm. relax in the park uh so we went to the park we weren't wearing masks because it was an outdoor space right. and we weren't near anybody and there is a picnic table that is set up in the park but then we later came to find out that food was not allowed, and this is what started the whole um, confrontation with the lady. She came up to us because some person's dog was, like, jumping on the table, and I said that people should train their dogs not to jump on a table of food, you know? And she was like, oh, well, maybe you shouldn't have brought in food to a dog park, and... Um, were you were you talking to her? Or did she just interject herself into your conversation with your your husband? Herself, we were away from everyone. Like we were just trying to relax and have a good time with the dog. Yeah, sure. And and you wouldn't expect some. Uh, who expects a confrontation in a dog park of all things? Yeah. <laughs> On a Thursday afternoon, so she just comes up and starts reading you guys the riot act for having food. That was the first problem yeah. she had with you right and then she brought up us uh not having masks um i didn't really think it was necessary to wear a mask just because we weren't near anyone it's an outdoor space where air is circulating we weren't in a closed space right. you know? everyone yeah. was spread out well all, and all the study we, we look all the studies show that outdoors you there there's no necessity to wear a mask i suppose if you feel like wearing one, fine. I, you know, I'm, I, the, the but, but so, so she, she comes out, she starts bitching at you for not wearing a mask after bitching at you for having food. She was just a very, a, she seemed like a very angry woman, Ash. Yeah. She, she's a psycho. <laughs> well, no doubt. So then, uh, so, so tell me what happened next. So she's yelling at you about the, the food. 
And then she starts yelling at you about the mask. And what did you say to her when she brought up, you know, you guys not wearing masks? I told her to quit fucking harassing us and to leave us alone. <laughs> like, we didn't even want to talk to her. We weren't talking to anybody. We were just trying to relax in the park. So I told her to leave us the fuck alone. And then she walks away. And, like, I look over at her. And then she flips me off. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So then um, I asked her if she wanted to talk about it. She could come to the table and talk. And then so she comes back over, no problem, like just not even saying anything. And she sticks the can of mace directly in my face. So my husband comes in, steps in front, and then she grabs him and starts macing him. She used the entire can on his face. Now, that's where the video begins. Yeah, because uh, I notice he's kind of waving his hands around trying to, to wave off this this uh, this spray of this pepper spray, this, this, the fumes of this pepper spray. And yeah. just as that woman, whoever she was, God bless her for being there with her camera phone ready to go. Yeah, so at the beginning of the incident, uh, my husband did try to point the, like, can down so she wouldn't spray me. Sure. And then that's when she grabbed him and started spraying him and stuff. He was just trying to de-escalate the situation. My husband is a very kind and non-confrontational person. That's why he didn't even do anything to her after she drenched him in pepper spray. I've had so many of my Facebook friends say to me after I po I, I shared your, your video... And they said, oh, my God, I would have slapped, I don't care, old lady, and a, yeah. <laughs> I would have smacked the hell out of her. And I know that emotion, I know that feeling, and I feel the same way. But there again, I mean, uh, uh, you know, unless you're really, if your life is in danger, I guess, you know. But you said your husband, in, in, in one of your posts, you said that your husband is not that kind of guy. He's not, uh, he's not a violent man. He's not a conf like confrontational or a violent person like at all. He was just trying to de-escalate the situation the entire time. Now, do you you guys normally wear masks when um, when it's required by the mask yeah. Nazis at the at the grocery stores and things like that? Yeah, so whenever we go to a grocery store or the mall or a restaurant, we wear a mask because it's required. But outside, it just doesn't make sense to me because air is circulating. And I don't know if this is true exactly, but I've heard the coronavirus get, like, the virus itself gets killed in the air if it's like 70 degrees and above. Exactly and in California, right. Hot. That's we we've all you know we've heard that too. Um, uh, but again, she was nowhere near you unless, until she came. It wasn't like you went over and got you didn't get in her in her face, right? You didn't get in her space. She came over and got in your space. Yeah, we didn't leave the table the entire time. And and she comes over, starts yelling at you about food, and then she's not happy because you guys aren't wearing masks, like that's some sort of prerequisite to going to the dog park in San Diego. And you told her to fuck off, which is a normal thing. And you look like a lady who probably tells people to fuck off when you <laughs> yeah when, when you're not happy with someone's uh, 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 demeanor or verbiage, you know. <laughs> If someone's bothering me, I confront them about it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I kind, I'm kind of I'm kind of the same way. I'm Irish, and and, and <laughs> me too. My last name's O'Brien. I, I I was gonna say. Um, now, when you uh, when when you realized what what was happening, what was your reaction? We don't see you in the video. How did you How did you respond when the woman starts spraying your husband with the mace or the the uh, pepper spray? I should say. So, uh, my husband stood in front of me, so I didn't get sprayed. Like, he did that to protect me and the dog. That's a good man. Good man. Yeah. But um, my biggest concern with this, as well, is that she put the animals' lives at risk. Like, pugs have respiratory issues. Exactly. If he would have gotten sprayed, he would have died. And if you look at the video, she's, like, tugging her dog around. She could have gotten a spray on her own dog. Now, I saw pictures of your husband from uh, uh, taken at the hospital. Let, let's talk about that for a moment, and then I want to come back to the actual incident. But, but he had to go to the hospital. You brought up the dog. If that dog had gotten hit with that pepper spray, 
with the respiratory problems that that pugs have. Uh, she has a three month old pug puppy. Um, yeah, that could have been that could have been life or death for that poor little guy. Any of the dogs would have died, even her own. Yeah, and she just didn't seem to care one way or another. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Oh, what's his name? Bud. Bud. Hi. Hi, hi Bud. What a sweetie. It's Spud like potato. Oh, Spud. Oh, Spud. Yeah. Spud, I'm sorry. Hi, Spud. You're such a good boy. What a good boy. Hi, everybody. Boy. I had one. I had one back in 1981. I had a little pug named Vladimir. I love I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love Well, you know where I got the name? At that time, there was a, a movie called Arthur that was very popular, and it uh, had Dudley Moore in it. And there was a scene in the movie where he says to a prostitute, would you object to naming a child Vladimir, even if it's a girl? And I don't know why that that, that, that movie was great, but that, that line just stood out to me. So I named my pug Vladimir uh, after that. that and that, Oh, Spud is... Look at him looking at us. He's watching us. He watches the Jazz McKay show on Twitch. <laughs> and, you know, the eyes, too, you know, with the pug's eyes. That could have just... Uh, pepper spray could have harmed him so so severely that is just you know uh, i i can't believe this woman would do that she's old enough to know better you know this wasn't some 15 or 16 year old kid at the skate park this is a 70 year old woman it there looked like to me at the park when this happened i cannot now i heard I, when, when this occurred i heard you know obviously the woman with the camera phone and she comes over and she, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is, and then of course the uh, the obligatory, this is not okay. That's just a phrase. I hate that phrase. Can we, can we ban the phrase? It's this is not okay. Of course it's not okay, lady. But yeah. uh, bless her heart for having the camera there because she was able to actually record the uh, the woman as she was getting into her car and got a close up. Of that license plate, which should enable the uh, the police there in San Diego to identify who this assailant was. And you guys, that was that was base out simple battery. That is battery in the full. Now, did you contact you? You did contact the police. Yeah. So after the incident happened, uh, my husband went to the bathroom and was rinsing his face off with. Some Water. We were just mainly focused, like getting as much of the spray off of him, and then we went to the hospital. And then after that, we met up with some police in town and filed the report, showed them the video and everything. Yeah. And and what 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 uh, what's now here here it is uh, Monday. What what's happened so far? Have have they they found they've got to know who she is from the registration of the vehicle. We're going to contact the detective that's going to be investigating the case, um, but they haven't, like, released her name or anything. I wish they would, because I feel like she needs to be known. People in San Diego need to watch out for this lady, because I don't want her assaulting kids or dogs getting involved and dogs dying or a kid or, or just anybody dying well, she, from it. she is... <laughs> obviously, this woman is unstable. I mean, we can make jokes about... You know, oh, look at the old Karen. We, we can say we can we can do all that junk. Um, but this is this um, this woman is a danger. She's yeah. clearly unstable. Yeah. You know, that's not the way that's not the way um, normal people react to a situation no. like that. Uh, she politely been like, oh yeah, it's like a no food rule in the park, and we would have taken the food out of the park. Sure, but automatically just came at us like being a bitch so she was automatically confrontational with you yeah. and and uh and and you were you know equally confrontational back to her but not to the level that would cause or justify a no. uh, an assault and battery i had no intentions of like wanting to assault her or anything i was just trying to get her to leave us alone we were just trying to eat our food and enjoy our time with our dog uh, I wish you guys the best. How's your husband feeling? Is he okay? Yeah, we're good now. Like everything's back to normal. He like he's not reflashing or anything from the spray. 
Well, so, I, well, I was worried about perhaps having some uh, some sort of uh, you know reaction in the eyes and things like that. And when we took him to the hospital, his vision was impaired by yeah. the spray, and a lot of his skin was super red and irritated. And when we got back from the hospital and he took a shower, he was just reflashing everywhere, like his face, neck, like just everywhere. Well, I I hope he I hope he is is better i hope he's doing good you take care of that puppy and please keep me posted when the police make an arrest on this woman and 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 let me know what happens okay yeah for sure i appreciate it ashley o'brien a fine irish gal from san diego whose husband was assaulted by a 70 plus year old lady horrible horrible thing uh (laughs) ashley take care great talking to you Great talking to you, too. We'll be right back with more of the Jazz McKay Show after these important announcements. The Jazz McKay Show is on. <laughs>